Oh, hey guys, it's Lupus. Um, I just wanted to say a massive thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. I never thought I would ever really make it to this point, let alone this quickly, let alone with such an amazing community of friends uh, and just people to stay by my side. You guys are all so supportive, so creative, and I'm so proud of all of you. So big thank you, all of you. Uh, I definitely don't deserve it, uh, but thank you so much. And uh, here's to uh, here's to the future. Anyway, we're gonna jump on in and answer some questions. I just wanted to do another question uh, or Q and A, so that anyone new coming to the channel is on the same page as everyone coming in new. Uh, since the last time I did a Q and A episode was when I had what three thousand subs, so like a month and a half ago. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so things have been moving pretty quick. Anyway, we're going to jump in, we're going to answer some questions, hope you guys enjoy it, and yeah. Rainbow asks, how does it feel to be a sudden YouTube sensation? Do you plan on going to conventions and meet with fans of the channel in the future? Yeah, uh, I'd like to. Uh, obviously, I haven't shown my face yet, <laughs> so that'd be kind of an issue. Uh, and I live in Australia, so there's only a few conventions and the ones that do exist are really out of the way uh, and not many people who watch my stuff would probably go there uh, but if I end up being in America or some of the bigger places when there are conventions going and I've done like a face reveal and stuff I would absolutely love to go to conventions and meet with fans um, and yeah so I'd, I'd totally be okay to do that. Uh, Fana, Fan Fana asks do you have slash are you pursuing an academic degree? If so, what was slash is it? Uh, not a degree. I have a diploma of information technology and networking. I can't even, there you, finger gun, there you go. Red asks, when did you and Sahani meet up and how long have you been dating? Uh, well, we met, well, in game was the first time we met here. Are you an Australian? Dude, I Ooh, wish. I've been trying don't. for you. I, Hi. Hi, Ellie. I've been trying for a while now. I mean, don't I be an ass. You... Uh, when she came over here was early October 2018. That's the one. 2019. Um, and that's when we've met I, uh, in real life for the first time, which there maybe should already be a video out on that, or I might be putting a video out about that. Uh, and how long we've we been dating? We've been dating actually today. Uh, the day that I'm recording this video is a hundred days since we officially became uh, an official couple. So there you go. There's a little fun fact. Cat asks, would you ever do a collaboration with Hey I'm B? I love both of you guys' content. I'm going to quickly throw this one in there with another comment I got asking this uh, about collaborations on YouTube. Uh, and the answer is, I would like to. I would really uh, enjoy myself spending time and recording with other people that do what I do so I can uh, learn how to do it better. We can share information and like talk and have fun and you know. The thing is though, a lot of these people have their kind of recording group or their friend group that they do videos with and that's fine. Those are the people that they're comfortable with but as someone, uh, as an outsider who, there have been a few people that are a part of the other uh, bigger groups like uh, VRChat Legends and you know Team Five and stuff like that that I've interacted with, but it's sometimes hard to get in that kind of recording circle of people in that group. Um, plus, it, it also doesn't help that I'm socially awkward as as all hell, uh, and I don't know really know how to go about doing that kind of thing. Um, I've interacted with a few people from a few different groups. Uh, a few times and I've done my recordings with them and stuff but I never seem to be able to kind of stick or make an impression that is kind of good enough to uh, kind of be invited to that sort of inner circle I guess that will probably come with time um, so yeah I'd like to uh, maybe down in the future uh, I'm very new to this uh, I'm very not prepared so maybe in the future I'd like to. I don't have anything against other other YouTubers or anything like that. I enjoy what they do, and I, it's great to learn uh, how they go about doing things. Uh, it's just that 
so it can be hard to kind of get within that kind of group. Uh, Bad Balto asks, is that can be any type of question? Yes. Uh, Just Ziva asks, how much time does it take to fully construct a video from recording to publishing? Right, so uh, each recording session, that was my chair, each recording session lasts uh, generally however long I stream for, so I take whatever I get from the stream. So that is usually uh, about a three or four hour session, give or take if I'm uh, having work that day or not. Uh, so there's recording for about three hours. Um, and then I take that into my editing software, uh, cut it up into the bits that I like. So usually I'm going to take about three or four hours worth of recording, try and cut the best bits out, get it to about 10 minutes long, because that's a nice length for YouTube. Um, and hope that there was 10 minutes worth of content in that four hours, because a lot of the time the stuff that's in there, I don't really want to put in a video or I don't think it fits. So I end up scrapping it uh, or it's not funny enough. So there's that, that takes a little bit of time as well. And if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't reach the mark that I'm trying to hit in terms of time, I'll have to grab from uh, another stream as well. So that could be another uh, three to four hour recording session there. Uh, but usually I can grab 10 minutes or so with, within a four hour stream, maybe four hour, maybe, maybe six hours. I say on average a six hour block of stream, so like, yeah, um, can usually get me to about 10 minutes worth of content. So I cut it all up like that, then I arrange it so the pacing is quite good, then I start throwing in the effects that we have, so like the text, uh, the intro screen, uh, special effects, so if I'm adding music or sound effects or I need to adjust audio levels, which I have been doing guys, I know that the audio level was kind of messed up for a few videos there, that was because I had it messed up on the recording software and it was all on one audio track so I can't, I can't, can't, I couldn't fix that, I tried, I couldn't fix it, I'm sorry, okay, it won't happen again maybe. Um, then I had, the, I had this special effects and everything that I do there and the little gags and stuff, then I run through the whole thing again, make sure it's exactly how I want it, then I add the cap screen or the, the end card on the end there with all the patrons on there uh, and then yeah that's the video so usually the whole editing itself process can take about six to eight hours on top of however long it's recording so that's what at least 10 hours or so per video give or take if I want to put bigger things like more intensive stuff like uh, text or videos that follow a specific point on the screen uh, like with keyframes that can take quite a bit as well. So like the uh, the gag where Kiss, uh, I throw Kiss when she's in the chair in one of the episodes and I clip it over to the, the girl throwing the yeet. Uh, that takes a lot of time because it's keyframe every segment as well. Uh, so it depends on how much what I do, but I'd say in total around 10 hours per video, probably a bit less, but yeah. Toby asks, when all is set in stone, what do you want to be remembered by? Creating something great, being a good leader, and never giving up. YouTube fanatica? Fanatica. Uh, <laughs> how can we support you? By going over to my patron. Uh, going to put the link here somewhere. Patreon.com forward slash lupus underscore Arkham. Uh, for as little as $5 a month, you can help me support, or you can support me uh, making this channel full time. We're getting there we're slowly pushing up towards our goal uh if i can do this well you've probably seen the video i won't ramble about it and if you watch the streams but yes patron is my biggest uh supporting thing if i could pick somewhere for people to support me on i would pick patreon pretty much every time so yeah jeremy asks not sure if this was asked but the thoughts of people doing fan art if you want maybe a po box for us fans to send you stuff cheers to 50k and hopefully 1000 by Easter. Yes, uh, fan art I adore. I save as much of it as I can. If it's not on Discord, if it's through Twitter and stuff, I'll usually save it. I'll put it into a special file on my computer when I look at it when I'm sad. Um, and as for a PO box, I'm not going to open it up just yet. I live in quite a small town, so opening up a PO box would pretty much tell you all where I live. Uh, but the goal is, once I can do this full time, is to move in with Sahani uh, in New Zealand 
and when that happens, we'll be in a slightly, well, we'll be in a bigger town, and we'll be open up, we'll be open up, we'll be able to open up a PO box there, and you guys can uh, send us all your stuff, and I might do unboxing videos and stuff. But all that happens if uh, Sahani and I can move in. So, oh Jesus, who, 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 she, juicy. Who fu fa fu fi we fi? Who give fi give fi? Asks, what's your current workload like? Have you been getting burnt out recently? Are you doing okay? You seemed out of it in your last streams. My current workload is uh, well, my life is either working, uh, streaming, editing, uploading eating or sleeping for the most part uh, so I'm pretty much always working on stuff I've been doing it for so long that when I don't have things to do like when I'm ahead of my uh, like upload schedule and I don't have work I kind of get anxious I get antsy like I feel like I should be doing things um, yeah I, and I try to play other games, nothing seems to kind of hold my attention when I'm doing it for like recreation. I feel like I should be doing things, I feel like I'm not doing what I should be doing if I'm not working on the channel. Uh, and you, what was it? Uh, have you been getting burnt out recently? Uh, it, it, it's been a lot. Uh, over the, the Christmas gap and New Year gap, a lot of things happened. Um, having to deal with like the whole starting up a new business and the sudden growth of people coming out of nowhere I didn't get a, a slow trickle like a, a lot of people do and uh, I'm not used to it I'm still trying to accustom myself to it, uh, it, it it's a lot uh, am I doing okay I'm getting by I'm, I'm managing I'm doing what I need to do um, yeah I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm managing I seemed really out of it in my last streams yeah it's it's been a lot um, there's been a lot going on, but yes, I'm, do I'm doing okay, I'll be fine, uh, I just want to keep things rolling and not lose momentum, so. Sahani asks, who's Sahani? Uh, Fang Dark Moon asks, hey Lupus, I got a VR set for Christmas and wanted to try out VR chat, but I'm really anxious about it since I'm quite introverted slash shy. Do you have any tips for someone to VR such as myself that would help me make things easier? Uh, if you can, do it with a group of pre-existing friends. Uh, if they don't have VR or something like that, you just kind of got to dive in there. Uh, some people who struggle to be introvert or struggle to interact like that choose to be mute. Maybe not for the entire time. When I first started, I was mute. The first couple of times I jumped into a pug, I just kind of sat back um, and watched. And then I kind of took on board that, you know, I'm 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 lupus in here, and it can be scary. You just kind of got to jump in when you can, say the things you can, and sooner or later you'll start building a fantastic group of friends, uh, much like what I've got here. So it does get better, and the more you do it, the more you push yourself outside of the comfort zone, the more likely you are, are going to have fun and find a, find a great group of friends. Uh, someone once said, I, I can't remember where this is from, but someone said, your success in life is based on how many uncomfortable uh, conversations you want to have. So if you take that on board, and you're willing to put yourself out there and just kind of do what you gotta do, you'll be fine. Uh, Chara Glitchwitch asks, are you hot? Uh, well, it is summer in Australia, but I do have my aircon on. So, I'm not hot at the moment, but it can get quite warm if I don't have the aircon on or I go outside or I stay in the sun too long. So it's very situational. I am Pat Bat asks, I've been streaming for a couple months but I have an average of zero to two viewers on each stream. Do you have any suggestions on how I can improve this? Yeah, just keep at it. Uh, it sucks. It very much sucks trying to stream, looking over to your view account and seeing 
no one there or only a few people there and you feel like you're shouting into the void, trust me, I had that. But stick with it. Keep doing what you love. It's a very slow start, but it does snowball and it does pick up. So keep at it. Don't give up. I've wanted to give up so many times, but just keep doing it and eventually it'll start feeding itself. All right, that's all the questions we had today. Thank you guys so much for asking them. And thank you guys again, massive thank you for 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. You guys mean the absolute world to me. You've definitely changed my life for the better. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. appreciate everything. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. Regular VR chat content coming soon. See you guys next time.